Welcome to the Compressor 105 using Compressor Templates course. My name is Francesco Schiavon, and I'm going to guide you through the course. I've been wanting to do the compressor courses for a number of years because video compression for me was the main aspect of multimedia that I got involved in my professional life. This course focuses on compressor templates. Now, compressor templates are the easiest way to use compressor. The main reason is because you can take a source movie coming from an external file, Final Cut Pro, or let's say Motion, take it through compressor, and at the end of the process, you have an output that could be to your iTunes library, to a Blu-ray disc, a DVD, an Apple TV, upload it to your YouTube or to your mobile me account, or even create your own web references movies if you or somebody in your company manages your own web server. Now, the difference between working with batch templates and working with other compressor workflows is that in a typical compressor workflow, what you have is a source coming from either a movie or Final Cut or whatever. It goes to compressor. You end up having an output file, and then it's your responsibility to do something with that output file. In the case of the templates, this is the beauty of the templates. You don't have to worry about that intermediate file. Rather, compressor does all the way to the final output. So let's get started.